Welcome to Thought for the Day for Monday the 6th of July from St John the Evangelist Bromley and thank you for joining me at the start of a new series. Uh, this week in Thought for the Day we're going to be thinking about the story of Abraham and Sarah which is told for us in the book of Genesis uh, but they're also mentioned uh, a number of times later on in the Bible including by the Apostle Paul in the New Testament who particularly in his letters to the Romans and the Galatians uh, comments a lot on Abraham and Sarah. Uh, today's Bible passage is from Paul's letter to the Galatians, uh, Galatians 3, verses 7 to 9. Understand then that those who have faith are children of Abraham. Scripture foresaw that God would justify the Gentiles by faith and announced the gospel in advance to Abraham. All nations will be blessed through you. So those who rely on faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith. I don't know whether you're interested in family history. Are you the sort of person who's got a, a detailed family tree uh, somewhere at home? Maybe you've uh, traced your grandparents and their grandparents and their grandparents. Maybe you've gone and uh, looked up family records and things like that. Uh, there are some people who, uh, who go into huge detail about that. Uh, someone I knew traced her descent back to the 15th century. Um, or maybe uh, you don't go to that kind of level of detail, but it's always good, isn't it, to know stories about your ancestors, whether it's uh, what uh, uh, great granddad did in the First World War or the fact that great, 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 great grandma uh, was a serving maid to Queen Victoria or something like that. I think those kind of stories are fun. They help us to, uh, to fill out our understanding of what it means to be who we are. Well, if so... And I hope that you do have some kind of interest in that way. If so, then uh, the story of Abraham and Sarah is for you and for me, because when we read their story, uh, it is family history for us. And Paul the Apostle makes it clear in this passage in the book of Galatians. And it's a bit of a surprise to some people, in particular uh, to people of other faiths. I'm a member of a group called the Bromley, faiths, uh, the Bromley Three Faiths Group. I mentioned it once or twice before. Uh, in fact, earlier this year, I became the group's chairman. Uh, we're a collection of people from the Jewish and Christian and Muslim communities within Bromley. Uh, we meet up from time to time. Uh, we do uh, fun things together, social events. We also try and help others in our community, uh, um, getting together to do that. And we have some theological discussions and question and answer sessions and things like that. Now, all three of us, Jewish, Christian and Muslim communities, we all call ourselves the Abrahamic faiths meaning that all of us trace our descent back to Abraham. But interestingly, we all do it in a slightly different way. So members of the Jewish community would say, uh, look, Jews are descended ethnically through their uh, lineage from Abraham and through uh, Abraham's son, Isaac. Uh, Jews can trace their descent to Isaac. Uh, many Muslims say they point to the fact that uh, Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, tra uh, traced his descent through Abraham's older son, Ishmael, or Ismail. Uh, and uh, many Arabs today uh, say that they are literally the descendants of Abraham. What the Apostle Paul says here is that actually Christians are the true children of Abraham because he says, Galatians 3, 7, those who have faith are children of Abraham. And he's talking about faith in Jesus Christ. The faith that says, God will make me his friend, not because I deserve it, but because Jesus Christ died in my place. Well, that means even if you're not Jewish or not Arab, uh, not descended uh, from Abraham, as it were, through your family, you're descended from Abraham and Sarah through your faith. And therefore this week, uh, it's the story of our ancestors. I hope you can join with me day by day. We're going to learn something about the faith of Abraham and Sarah. We'll be learning something about their doubts and their faults as well. And we'll be learning about the three precious promises that God gave to Abraham and Sarah at the start of their story, which really was the driving force, the momentum behind all their actions in the book of Genesis. Hope you're going to enjoy doing that. Uh, let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, we thank you very much for Paul's uh, affirmation that uh, those who have faith in Christ are the true children of Abraham. And so we pray, Lord, that uh, you'll help us to be interested in our illustrious ancestors, Abraham and Sarah, uh, in their story, in their faith. Uh, may we follow them as great models of people who had trust in you, even when life was very difficult. Uh, and may we learn also to trust you, whatever life holds out to us. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. God bless you. Join me again tomorrow.